Hello and welcome. Um, today we're going back to basically the roots of text slice back to Jeremy Saint Technology time, actually tutorials. Um, you see the first few videos is how to install and it'll be from PairOS, um, OpenSUSE, Ubuntu and all that. Today we're actually doing a new PairOS. They've came up with uh, PairOS 9.3 and I'm going to show you how to install it. So let's get started. So, um, we'll just go and power on the virtual machine. Now, if you don't know, um, a virtual machine is basically just a yeah virtual computer. So you can simulate what it would be like installing on a full physical computer. Um, now in the new PairOS we've just got um, new looks. PairOS is very famous for copying OS X. Um, so we'll see this in this um, version. And at the moment we're just booting into the live system. And we will then go through the installer process and guide you through it. Okay, so as you can see, when it booted in, you can see it looks very much like OS X. You can see you've got the um, magnifying for the dock and everything. Um, we will, if we can, we'll try and customize the display so you can, um, we can get a better view for when we're installing. Okay, so this is about the best res we're going to get at the moment. Um, so let's go ahead and try and install it. So we'll double click on PairOS 14.04. Uh, now this is based off um, Ubuntu 14.04. Um, now we'll just leave these. You can download updates while installing, but it adds more time to it. And for this tutorial, we'll try and um, go as quick as possible. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, uh, you'll go continue, erase disk and install PowerOS, click continue, erase it. You can do um, dual boot if you want, if you want to have it on your main machine. But it, yeah, it's based off Ubuntu 14.04, so you might notice a few things similar in those, but um, at the moment I just put it on 2 gig of RAM and 2 process cores and it's running fairly fine and actually at the moment we're getting um, what I like to call the spinning wheel of death. Um, now I do use a Mac for my laptop so I'm fairly familiar with that. Okay so now we'll click on our time zone, click the Sydney time zone. Click continue. Um, your name, so put in your name. Um, no, I got this now. Um, so we'll put in your password. Now we'll log in for this tutorial automatically. Actually what I just noticed is um, when we went into the installer, numlock, oh, numlock is now working, um, but scroll lock has stopped working and that is what provides some keyboards with backlighting. So I uh, will I'll tell you once we fully get in um, if scroll lock works or not. Obviously Mac it doesn't. Um, on Ubuntu it actually doesn't unless you use a special command. So we'll we'll see what happens. Um, so now it's copying files over. Um, stop giving us the beach ball. We might be able to expand this bit. Nope. Um, 
So yeah, we'll just um, fast forward the installer and yeah. Okay, so now it has finished installing and it just requested me to reboot and now we're at the point of rebooting. It's been rebooting for a bit now. Actually, I did a test install a bit earlier um, of it and um, we may not get past this stage. I've, yeah, I had that issue where it's just um, doing this and... Um, it does it forever so um, I'll get back to you if if I can't get it to fully boot we'll go to the um, to the live boot mode and I'll basically just give you a little show around of it okay so I couldn't get to boot maybe you'll have more luck but um, I guess we'll just take you a quick look around now some elements of the um, UI still um, is in another language as you can see up here actually here we go no that's just keyboard um, so you can see if I go to calendar it's all in another language not quite sure um, files on um, on OS X that's finder looks okay um, got Firefox it's the icons made to look like um, Safari. You've got applications here. Um, close that down. Um, got our, got all our other normal apps. Um, find it funny how settings is called details. So you have to go all settings. You could probably re-put that in. Um, so in settings you've got background, brightness, my accounts, the standard Linux stuff really. Um, we go up to the pair thing up here. Um, it will take us to search menu. Yep, um, power you got like that live session user. Um, that's really it. Um, not much more to say about it. It's basically you so you bunt your skin over to look more like um, OS X. Not like, I mean, it depends on people's taste really. Um, so guys, that's how to install Pear OS 9.3. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.